Doc, I went for HLG tests. The paper says bilateral tubal block and the contrast defect. Please, what does it mean? Um, this is quite an interesting question and I think that I will have a little time to talk about this. This fellow went for HLG, hysterosapingogram, is one of the kind of tests or infertility to check if the fallopian tubes are blocked or not blocked and also assess the state of the inside of the womb. That is in a, a conventional kind of test that you can go for infertility. And interestingly, she went for this test and she is probably with this test report and now forwarding the test report to us asking what does bilateral tuba blockage and contrast defects what does that mean what does that actually tell you this kind of question what kind of message do you get out of it now listen there is one major problem I've discovered in our society. And that particular problem is the problem of non-professional guidance in the management of our health. Majority of people will tell you, Doctor, I have a problem and I have done all the tests and they say nothing. As crazy as I saw a couple sometime in the past that the man had 60 million spam count, but zero motility. None of them is like all of them dead. And years into the marriage, and I asked them, have you done any of this? They say, yes, we have done everything. And they said nothing. We went to lab, we did everything, and they said nothing. Now, they have been living in that they say nothing from lab tests. Now I hear this. I want to tell you something very, very striking. Not just only as a medical doctor, but something that should be very, very, very pertinent to you. Listen. Diagnostic centers are not hospital. I say it again. A diagnostic center, they said, in this very place, you do investigations. That is not hospital. It is meant to have a paramedical services in order to support your doctor's tentative diagnosis. What I mean by that? When you get to a doctor, the doctor will see your clinical condition, clinical condition the way you present, and what you will tell me about how you are feeling and based on what and what he will examine you and he will say you may have he will suspect you call it tentative diagnosis tentative in the sense that i'm thinking that this could be a differential you have fever there could be this there could be this there could be this there could be this causing all this However, in order to help him narrow down the definitive diagnosis, no longer differential diagnosis, but definitive diagnosis, he will now say, go for this investigation, go for this X-ray, go for this uh, lab, go for this zero one, go for this one. Now, after doing the scan, doing the um, X-ray, doing whatever you do, it is very paramount that you take these very papers back to your doctor who understand the one he will marry your clinical presentation what you presented how you feel with what that was interpreted in that paper that is why you can take certain paper to a doctor the doctor said no this is wrong how 
Why doctor can say there is a mistake here? This is not properly done this way. It's not supposed to be so. It's because he has a better understanding, one, of what you presented with, and two, what he has already found out. Let me just say, for instance, you have something that is affecting this side of your body, and somebody will do a scan and say, no, you have appendicitis. It will have no clinical or medical correlation. That is where you have the need for that professional, professional input in this your health matter. So, going to the lab and saying, we don't go test. And what is the test? We want to do um, culture. What is culture? What are you culturing? Did they tell you that every problem is infectious? It is the kind of level of ignorance going on in our system that was supposed to be attended to early will be lingered until it becomes complicated before presenting. So why am I having this kind of burden to talk to us? It's because most people will come to this point Having gone to those areas with even vague information they don't even understand, they will now assume that we have done everything and our problem is spiritual. And Satan will be wearing glory. He never merited at all. So I want you just to understand this key principle. One is that a mechanic, there's a difference between a mechanic and a mechanical engineer. Very wide difference. There is a difference between a law enforcement agent and a lawyer. Very wide difference. There is a difference between a chemist and a doctor. Your doctor understands the physiological and anatomical status of your body system vis-a-vis -vis the pharmacokinetics of the drugs you are about to take. So it's not just a function of saying, take this drug, you miss this drug for me. Error of that one has gone. Error of no, no question, don't ask. It doesn't matter, just take it. My friend, we're in a fresh error. Come on, let's get these things done. Most times when it has to do with um, other things, car you buy, the jewelries you buy, clothes you buy, once it comes to your head, what kind of nonsense poverty mentality will weigh on everybody? And you will be thinking of one shortcut for the sake of your health, which is most important for your prosperity tomorrow. These are unfortunate things happening and people are passing this information from generation to generation. But can't you say, with this effort we are making together, it will end in our time. That knowledge and information we prevail. God said at the last days that the, his knowledge shall be like the sand of the seashore. Don't you see what technology is doing? I can talk to you now, so many phone calls anyway. I can, this, with, with just a phone call, I will be here and I will be talking to somebody you are seeing me and seeing you. And we are talking. He never existed. And also in the aspect of your head, much more has been done, but we don't know. So what I'm trying to put across to you, this is a very ugly situation. I'm not answering this question because it's coming to me. I would rather refer you back, doctor. Take that thing back to that very doctor that may have sent you and you probably somebody say don't. And you carry the information. I will not say it. In fact, I will hold this one. Maybe if you listen to other, uh, other subsequent uh, edition. I will be able to talk what is this contrast and what is this um, bilateral to bar block and the implication. It will not be today. So stay tuned. I will see you some other time for the answer of this. <laughs>